Hello EV fans, welcome back to EV's gallery. Hope you guys are doing well. From the latest industry updates to in-depth reviews of the hottest EV models, we are here to keep you charged with electrifying news and insights. We are thrilled to announce the launch of three exclusive membership levels on our channel, Spark, Voltage, and Gigawatt. Are you ready to supercharge your support and join an exclusive community of like-minded electric vehicle fans? Become a member of our channel today. By joining, you'll not only fuel our journey together but also unlock fantastic perks tailored just for you. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to join the EV revolution. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay charged with the latest updates. Expanding its dominance in the global electric vehicle market, BYD, the Chinese carmaker backed by Warren Buffett, made a significant stride this week by loading over 5,000 electric vehicles onto its massive shipping carrier, the BYD Explorer No. 1. This bold move underscores BYD's position as the world's largest seller of electric vehicles, surpassing even Tesla in the fourth quarter of 2023. The EVs, originating from BYD's production facilities in the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen, are bound for ports in Europe, specifically Germany and the Netherlands. The scale of this operation is a visual testament to BYD's growing influence and market presence, signaling a need for the company to explore new avenues to sustain its momentum. In the pursuit of global recognition, BYD has set its sights on two pivotal countries, Hungary and Mexico. While these nations might not be automotive powerhouses, they could serve as strategic gateways to Europe and North America, respectively, aiding BYD in its quest to establish itself as a household name worldwide. BYD's strategic maneuvering involves the establishment of a production plant in Hungary, marking its first foray into passenger car manufacturing in Europe. The Hungarian government, led by Prime Minister Viktor Orban, views this investment as one of the largest in the country's history, anticipating significant job creation in the city of Szeged. This move aligns with BYD's broader global expansion strategy, providing the company with a foothold in Europe and, importantly, enabling it to navigate around potential tariffs. The timing of BYD's Hungarian venture is notable, offering the company a means to bypass European tariffs, which currently stand at 10% on cars imported from China. Additionally, BYD can potentially sidestep any future duties resulting from the ongoing European Union investigation into China's state support for EV manufacturers. The European Commission initiated this probe in September, aiming to scrutinize the alleged artificial suppression of EV prices imported from China. The lower labor and energy costs in Hungary compared to other European automotive hubs, such as France or Germany, further enhance BYD's competitive advantage in the region. Experts assert that BYD's expansion into Hungary and its contemplation of establishing a presence in Mexico are not mere reactions to increasing protectionism. Rather, they view these moves as part of BYD's broader strategy for global expansion and manufacturing footprint. Mexico emerges as a key destination for BYD, given its status as a manufacturing and export hub, especially with the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USMCA, in effect. This trade deal stipulates that 75% of each passenger vehicle must be manufactured in North America to avoid tariffs. With Mexico being part of this agreement, it becomes an attractive location for Chinese automakers like BYD to establish production facilities, potentially serving as an entry point for manufacturing and exporting into North America. The prospect of setting up production in Mexico aligns with BYD's overall strategy, extending beyond an end-product approach. By being in close proximity to other major players, such as Tesla, which is also building a facility in the country, BYD can leverage synergies and strategic partnerships, including supplying batteries to its competitors. Stella Lee, BYD Executive Vice President, has previously expressed the company's interest in a Mexican factory, contingent on market response. The potential demand in Mexico could drive BYD to consider producing vehicles locally, positioning itself strategically in a market that holds promise for both domestic and export opportunities. BYD's journey from being a relatively unknown overseas brand to overtaking Tesla in global electric vehicle sales underscores its remarkable evolution. While it took several years for the company to gain traction in Europe, its focus on dominating the Chinese market ultimately paid off, making BYD the best-selling car brand in China last year. However, recognizing the need for sustained growth, BYD has shifted its focus to overseas sales, with its footprint now extending to more than 70 countries. 
the company has achieved aggressive growth in the exports of its vehicles, with a staggering 334% surge last year, contributing to China's rise as the world's top car exporter in 2023. As BYD continues its global expansion, analysts emphasize the importance of adopting a localized approach. Building factories near key markets not only signals a commitment to creating local jobs but also enhances the company's standing with governments and consumers. This localized strategy positions BYD favorably, fostering goodwill and potentially leading to more favorable treatment from governments in the regions where it operates. In conclusion, BYD's recent move to load thousands of electric vehicles onto its shipping carrier for export to Europe is emblematic of its ambition to solidify its position as a global leader in the electric vehicle market. The strategic focus on Hungary and Mexico reflects a calculated effort to establish strong footholds on both sides of the Atlantic, allowing BYD to navigate complex geopolitical landscapes and potential trade barriers. As BYD continues to expand its manufacturing footprint and explore new markets, its journey from a relatively obscure brand to a global powerhouse is a testament to its resilience and adaptability in the dynamic landscape of the automotive industry. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love hearing your thoughts and insights, so don't forget to share your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Your engagement means a lot to us, and it keeps the conversation going. If you enjoyed today's content and want to stay updated with the latest news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future updates.